How you doing everybody? I'm Matthew Peterson. I'm the executive pastry chef for the Newport Restaurant Group. And we're here today at the Boathouse in Tiverton on the beautiful Sakonet River on a beautiful day in fall. And we're gonna be doing a three-part video series for you on some really approachable desserts that you can make at home for the holidays for your family and friends. We're gonna start with an apple and crumb pie. It's a really simple twist on a, a traditional apple pie. We're also gonna be doing a caramel cheesecake with a cranberry sweet and sour sauce. And then we're also gonna do a vanilla creme brulee with pumpkin snickerdoodles. So I hope you'll join us for each and every video that we broadcast throughout the month of November and December. Today we're gonna to be making an apple crumb pie. A little twist on a, a holiday favorite. First we have a one and three quarter cups all purpose flour. We have two teaspoons of 10x sugar. We also have a teaspoon of kosher salt in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump that on the table. I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna blend it together. And then I have um, three tablespoons, or actually four ounces of um, unsalted butter. And it's nice and cold too. I'm just gonna cut it into small cubes, just like that. And then we're just gonna put that into our pie dough. So now we're just gonna kinda flatten the butter. We're just gonna take it and kinda smush it like that. And then when we mix in the water and the lemon juice, it's gonna kinda break those up even more. You don't wanna smush them too much because we still gotta mix the water and the lemon juice in there. And if you over mix the butter, you're gonna end up with nothing at the end because you want nice big lumps of fat in your pie dough when it's finished. Okay, so now that we've mixed in our butter, we're just gonna create a small well, just like making pasta dough. I'm gonna use my fancy little strainer, put the juice of one lemon in there. And then I'm gonna add almost all of the water. I'm gonna reserve just a little bit of it because we don't wanna start with all of it. And then we're just gonna start to mix in the water. And I'm just squeezing gently just to distribute that moisture. You can see the flakes in there. Look at how layered that is. It may look really dry. Like at this point, you're gonna wanna add more water to it. That's, that's what your brain is telling you. But no, this is actually really perfect. This is exactly how we want it. Cause what's gonna happen is as this rests, it's gonna hydrate even more. All that water is gonna disperse through the flour. We want it kind of shaggy looking. We want it rough looking. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll out our pie dough. This is one that I made yesterday and you can see that I wrapped it up nice and tight in some plastic wrap and I actually put it into the shape of a circle because it's a lot easier to roll it into a shape of a circle when it starts in the shape of a circle. So a little bit of flour. You don't wanna use too much, just a little bit on your bench, a little bit on top of your dough. And as you roll, you just wanna turn a little bit each time. You wanna make sure your pie dough is not sticking. Always be moving it, because once it gets stuck, it's hard to get it unstuck. Okay, so that's probably about an eighth of an inch thick, about two to three millimeters. Okay. Most important thing here is to make sure you push it into the corners evenly. Try not to stretch it too much. Just be gentle with it, use a gentle hand. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna trim off some of the excess. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tuck that edge under, just like that. And then we're just gonna go back around, make sure it's nice and seated, nice and even. So the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put our pie dough in the refrigerator before we put our apples in there. And what we'll do next is we'll prepare the um, oatmeal and brown sugar crumb topping. We just need to give this a little bit of time to rest so that when we put the apples in there, it doesn't shrink. I have um, a third of a cup of all-purpose flour, um, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, I have one cup of rolled oats. You could use quick oats too if you wanted to. Um, and I also have a third of a cup of light brown sugar. We're just gonna put that in a bowl. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna mix that up with our hands and then we're gonna add two ounces of butter and just kind of mix that up until it gets like a mealy, kind of wet, sandy type texture. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna peel, cut, and core our apples. And I have this awesome little tool right here that's probably 12, 15 bucks. Um, you can find it on Amazon or at your local um, cooking store, really a, a great tool, saves you so much time. And you're just gonna clamp it onto the table, peel it back. We're gonna use Honeycrisp apple today. Um, it's really tart, crisp, sweet, um, juicy, a lot of things that you look for in an apple. Make sure it's on the table. And then I always like to hold it down with my hand as well. And then you just turn. I'm just gonna break those up a little bit. And then next, I have uh, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I have one teaspoon of cornstarch, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, um, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of fresh grated nutmeg. I have that all mixed up inside this container right here. Almost forgot the lemon juice. 
Always put lemon juice in. And then add the rest of my spice, cornstarch, flour mixture, and then you're just gonna toss with your hands. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the apples into our prepared pie dough. Nice little mound of apples, because this is gonna cook down. And then we're gonna take our previously made oat crisp topping, and we're just gonna spread that on top. Doesn't have to be completely covered, because the whole thing is gonna kinda sink down as it bakes. It's gonna even out. The most important thing to remember now while it's baking is to manage your time and your temperature. You may have to turn down the oven a little bit to allow the cookie or the uh, to allow to the apples to cook a little bit longer and allow the top to brown more evenly. So you just have to gauge that. Um, that's something you're going to learn as you bake more often. So if you don't succeed the first time, just try again. You have to keep trying. It's not something you're going to get right away. So practice, practice, practice. And that's how you make our apple crumb pie. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I really hope it was easy for you. If not, my email is mpeterson at newportharbor.com. You can send me an email anytime, and I hope you really enjoyed it. I enjoyed being here with you today, and happy holidays.